DJ, your objective today is to hide that engine, a bus car, and a caboose. And watch out for Christian. Don't get caught. Go! Uh, uh. Boxcar, caboose, engine, boxcar, caboose, engine, oh, e die. engine, perfect, engine, okay, uh, dead end, dead end, uh, uh. weapon, no, weapon, no, Weapon. Ah, destruction. Ooh, a diesel. Okay. Boxcar. Yes. Caboose. Yes. Go to checkout. Get my engine. Pay. Ready for payment? Card. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> success, I did it. Hi, DJ. No! Hi, everybody, my name is DJ, and welcome back to Yankee Devil, where every day is a train show. I hope you enjoyed our newest creation here at Yankee Dabbler, the Yankee Dabbler, the video game. Engineer Hall Hodge, what'd you think? Oh, I think it was great. We need more action, more firepower, more explosion, need fire. It's a great, well, as you get further on, it gets crazy, okay? Some levels evolving can, little nuts. So, uh, y'all have to stay tuned for that because that's going to be premiering on PS6 coming out real soon, so check it out, or Xbox uh, 720. Anyway, we have some new things that we are going to be showing you here today, and we're going to start with some box cars from Athener. Let's check them out here. Now, these are part of the Genesis series. I didn't take them out of the box because they are are sealed for your protection or freshness or whatever but these are southern pacific fit or i'm sorry well that's the southern pacific that they are 50 foot pcf boxcar 10 foot plug door say that three times i have three or uh, four different variations two of the southern ones here is an evergreen and then here's an mkt or the katie like that one there. These are really nice looking cars here and does a really nice looking box too. Check that out. Now of course this is a Genesis series so this is the high-end Atherin series and of course as Engineer Hall likes to say you can never have enough box cars right EH? Absolutely. All right so the retail value of these cars is that's not my cheap. Here it goes. The retail value of these cars is $44.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $39.95. High quality item to get. Everyone needs box cars, so come into Yankee Dabbler and get these on your railroad there right now. As your haul, you want more box cars? Could not have too many of them. Well, we got more for you. These are the X29 40 foot box cars. Check these out from Walther's. And I have a whole bunch of different colors for you to choose from here. So I have the Chicago Great Western. I have here the Baltimore and Ohio. I have two versions of the Pennsylvania. One has a big keystone, the other one has a rounded one. I have here the Main Central, and then finally we're gonna end with the Central Railroad of New Jersey. Man, what a whole colorful group this looks like, Engineer Hall. I right? thought you said different colors look like, you know. Well, I mean, this shade of brown's not quite that shade of brown, right. and then that shade of brown's a little bit different than that shade, and there's white. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so let's take a look at this Jersey Central one here. So if you take a look here, these are really nice cars here. Even has the riveted details on there. I have metal wheels, which is always nice here. The doors do not open here, but these are very affordable cars. And guess what? I have a whole bunch of different road numbers. So if I want to get a couple of these, I can make that happen. Now, the retail value of these cars are $31.98. What we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.18. So again, you can never have enough box cars. And especially if you are a Steam Era guy, this will look awesome uh, being pulled on the back of your train. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get some more box cars for your railroad right now so right now we're going to be taking a look at a lifesaver <laughs> i wonder what flavor it is ah! <laughs> no stop it's, it's not life it'll, 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 it'll taste horrible try to have some fun anyway let's take a look at this atlas engine that we already saw the engine that's not really the main focus of this 
What I really want to focus on is the Operation Lifesaver 50th Anniversary Caboose from Atlas here. Now that is a really striking looking card there. And of course, Operation Lifesaver celebrated 50 years in 2022. So 1972 to 2022. And it's a really neat uh, card to add to your collection here. And I put the engine here. We took a look at the engine a little while ago here. But I think that is just a great companion piece to get these two things going on your rails. I mean, let's face it. We all have Norfolk Southern. We all have Conroe. We have UP. we got to have something different on the railroad, especially showcase maybe something that is a very critical part of railroading history, which, of course, Operation Lifesaver is. So that's a great looking set to put together here. And you know how I love my cabooses. Engineer Hall. Isn't that a nice caboose? That's a very nice rivet detail. Got the uh, metal wheels. Uh, got a detail doing the end platform and the window glazing looks pretty good. Nice and clear. I like that. I like it too. So let's see what a, this car looks like being pulled by that Operation Lifesaver diesel. That's a really cool look at diesel locomotive and caboose here. And if you're interested in getting that for your railroad, the retail value of the caboose is $41.95, but we're selling it here in Yankee Dabble for $28.99. And if you're still interested in the Operation Lifesaver diesel, we still have a few of those left. They sell for $219.99. So it's a great deal to get on a train that you probably don't have on your railroad. Again, everyone has the popular railroads, but if you remember Life uh, Operation Lifesaver or you're a fan of it, make sure you get this. I think this is a really neat concept to add. And uh, yeah, make sure you don't lick it because it, it doesn't taste like anything. You were right. Why would you mind licking it anyway? I thought it was look, look, like pineapple flavor, maybe. You know? mm, no, DJ, no. It's hungry. Engineer Hall, you ready for another diesel? Let's do it for another round of diesel. Let's do it. Let's do like a GP7. How about a GP30? Mm, all right, how about a GP9? No, no, how about a GP28? How about a GP12? Uh, GP7. Alright, I already said 7. Alright, let's settle in the middle. GP15. Fine. Alright, so let's take a look at the GP15 from Atlas here. And these are in N scale. Now, these are DC only engines here, but I'm sure they can be upgraded to DC, C, and SEN. I have here the Conrail. Actually, I have two versions there one with a white stripe, one without. I have here the Union Pacific. I have here the Burlington Northern. And for you fans that go to the York train show, you probably have seen the York Rail run up there. So that is a really neat looking diesel there, a little local shoreline. Now these engines are really nice here, and especially if you're an end scaler and you want a little GP15 action. When's the last time you saw a GP15 in the Model 4 engineer hall? In a long time. All right. So these are really nice engines. I like the top here. So again, it, these are just DC engines here, and that of course is reflected in the price here. You ready for the price engineer, Hall? Huh? Come on, talk to me. So they retail for $124.95, $87.49. There you go, back there to used to be. There you yeah. go, nice little so, price for yeah, the for engine. Very good, all right? And of course, if you want to put a decoder inside of this engine here. What you got for me? Well, we have a, a whole bunch of decoders at yankeedabbler.com. Just type in what you're looking for here and find what would go in here nicely. You can get it all hooked up here. You can put sound in here so you don't have to hire a Christian to go beep beep on your railroad because his prices are getting crazy. Ridiculous. So if you're interested in um, any of these engines here, check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, and get them rolling on your railroad today. Especially you have more upstairs you could then bring do. down? I have more. So come get them because I'm running out of room. Hey, what? Look like a little snack there. 
So we got a new engine here from Athens that we're going to take a look at here. This is a SW1500. I got six variations for you to decide from. So check them out here. So I took out here a couple of them for you to look at. I have here first the Union Pacific. And look at all the detailing on those engines here. Doesn't that look great? It looks pretty good for an Athens model. Yeah, I know. Looks pretty good. For and then I have here a Southern Pacific. I really like the look of that one too. Especially like the bloody nose on the front. And then I have four other ones here that I kept inside the box. As you know, Athens likes to seal their engines, so I don't want to open too many. But I got a really nice Rock Island there. I have here a Southern. I have here a Frisco. And I have here the Minneapolis, Northfield, and Southern. Now, these are great looking diesel locomotives here, okay? Especially if you're looking for a nice little switcher diesel that you can have on your rear road. This is definitely an option for you. Look at the detailing inside that cab engineer hall. Yes, look at all that detail. That looks great. And you know what's even better about this engine? What's going on? The price. Tommy. All right, so you ready? So these engines retail for $294.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $234.99. So you get a really nice, highly detailed locomotive here. It runs good. It has an economic decoder on it. Mm -hmm. So let's get this pulling on the rails today and see... What it sounds like. I will, I will definitely get uh, one of these to just, uh, slide around in my yard or in a little You're just uh, getting MW. one? Engineer Hall. I usually get two. Engineer Hall. What? You're getting all six. You no, know. I'm getting two. You know you're why, getting make, why, you make, why you make me do this? Because, I need two. Because we'll talk about this afterwards. All right. Try it again. A little harder this time. There you go. Stretch it out. There you go. Go ahead and pull it. Alright. Engine 1014. Here we go. Now arriving, train number 1014, the Dablin Yankee. That's a great look and for the engine here. It sounds good too, and it operates really well as well. Assuming you don't have someone like me trying to couple the cars. Now, again, the retail value of that engine is $294.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $234.99. It's a great deal to get on this engine here. I think you really will enjoy it. We all have our, you know, road engines here, but we don't really maybe have some switchers. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get this so you can shunt cars all over your layout today. Let's take a look at uh, all the things that we saw on today's show here. We had a lot of good things here. From Athern here, we had these SW1500s. And these were great-looking switcher diesel locomotives here. And then again from Athern here, from the Genesis series, they had all of these boxcars. And they are nicely, highly detailed. They look great. I think you need them on your railroad. Speaking of things you need on your railroad here, I think you need these Walther X29 boxcars. These look fantastic as well. Never have too many. Exactly. And then I have here from Atlas, I had the Operation Lifesaver Caboose here that I can pair with my diesel locomotive there. So that makes a really nice concept. 50 and 50. And then for our end scalers here, we had these GP15s. These are DC engines, but you can upgrade these to be DCC and sound if you desire. 
But of course, if you're a DC guy, we'll just put on the track and away you go. And got a little bit of uh, something for everybody. That's right. But of course, if there was something on the here that you didn't see that you're looking for, well, you can always go on our website, yankeedappler.com, type in the search bar what you're looking for so we can get it shipped and sent to you so you have a summer full of railroading fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, click that subscribe button. It doesn't take a lot of effort, so you can get a couple of all the greatest things that we have coming up here. Engineer Hall, do you have any really exciting videos that you have planned? Sounds great. Anyway, so make sure you click that subscribe button there so you can see everything that we have coming up. We're going to go to our rail fan video today. We're going to go all the way to the Little River Railroad in Michigan. This is a really neat railroad here that has the world's smallest operating Pacific steam locomotive here. It's number 110 and it was pulling a 10 car train. And even though it was a really tiny looking thing, it sounded really cool. It did a great job. So I hope you enjoyed this video of the Little River Railroad. Well, if you excuse me now, you already saw our first video game that we have, but we're also developing a second video game at Engineer Hall. Are you excited about this? Well, let's show it. But you know what happens is uh, Grand Theft Auto was a really big game, right? Oh, it was going to be a good game and Grand Theft Auto 6 coming out next year. Okay, well, we're not advertising that because what we have happening is we took the concept, but we adjusted it for model railroading. That's right. We have Grand Theft Model Railroading. So we have a little demo that we're going to show you. So let's check it out. We'll see you again here in Yankee Dab. But of course, every day is a train show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Hey, you train. Yeah, you, you like got it? some? What? Oh, oh, oh.